Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to upscale image in stable diffusion by using an ultra sharp extension. So the first thing that we want to do is you want to head on to Google Colab. And once you are here, you can then use any checkpoint model that you are going to want. In my case, I'm just going to use this one. Okay, so there are two methods that I'm going to show you. One is by using Google Colab. And the other is if you are going to use stable diffusion and install it manually in your computer. So this is how you are going to do it if you are using Google Colab. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to head onto extension section, additional extensions, and then scroll down here. So these are the extensions that we have put in the ESRGAN folder. So if we are going to see here, uh, I already have the upscalers. But if you don't have it, all you have to do is just copy this link below. This one, I'm going to be putting this one in the description box and in the comment section as well for you to be able to use it later. Thanks to Nolan Atala, we are going to be able to use upscalers without having a lot of problem. Now say for example you have installed stable diffusion in your computer, what you want to do is you want to locate the stable diffusion folder and open models and then ESRGAN or ESRGAN and then you are going to paste it here. So if you want to download this one, I'm going to leave the link also in the description box and as well as the comment section. But in order to show you, I'm just going to paste this one here. So once you've downloaded this one, all you want to do is locate your stable diffusion folder and then open the models and ESR gun and then just paste it here. And that's it. You're ready to go. So in our case, again, we are using Google Colab. So we are going to proceed with that. As you can see here, we already have it. And then all we are going to do is just click run. And then we wait. And while we are waiting, we are also going to look at possible models for this checkpoint that we can use later to upscale. There you go. And then I'm going to click anything version 3. So I'm using anything version 3 here. That's why I'm also going to check for anything version 3 for better compatibility. Okay. So now that we are here, we're going to just scroll down and find something. All right, this one. So the reason why I've chosen this picture is because there are a lot of details here in the background and also in the subject. So we want to be able to generate something like this. And that way we will be able to see the benefits of upscaling an image. Now that the Gradio link is ready, we're just going to open the Gradio link. Uh, Stable Diffusion Checkpoint, anything version 3. So we are going to try to copy the prompt here. And then here as well. So as you can see here, this is more like a portrait. So we are going to increase the height of the picture. We're just going to say around, uh, okay, uh, 764 or yeah, something around that. Okay, 700. And then we're just going to generate one image. Let's try to see, generate. Okay, we've successfully generated an image. Let's try to open it. Okay, image is not bad. I think this is good. So in order for us to check this one later, we're going to open it in a new tab. All right, there. We're going to be doing that for comparison purposes. All right, and then we're going to close this one. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to upscale this one. So we are going to click Send to Extras. All right, we are now in the Extras tab. All right, so this is where you will be able to upscale the image. So we are going to resize it four times. And then for the upscaler, we are going to find, okay, here, four times ultra sharp. This is what we have downloaded earlier. And then, yeah, that's it. That's basically it. We're just going to generate a new image now. And then we have generated this to four times. We're going to try opening it. And then open image in a new tab. 
So instead of 512, we are now in 2048 by 3040. So that's a very big difference. Now, uh, let's try to open this in a new tab and, and do a side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, here. So if I were to zoom this one in, this is what will happen. See? That's just it. Again, this is before upscaling it. So if I were to zoom it in, yeah, just like that. Since this one has a higher pixel size, if I were to click this one, yeah, there, I'll be able to see here and zoom in for more details. Whereas this one, yeah, that's the only thing that I can do. Again, see, we can now see more details here. Now, let's try to download this one in order for us to zoom it in better. So I'm going to open it and then put it there. And the same thing here, we're going to save this image. Okay, there I go. Now let's try to zoom it in a little bit. So let's go first to, let's say the face in order for us to know more details about this. Now, as you can see, for the one that we have not upscaled, I zoomed it in in almost the same level, and it's a 285% zoom, whereas the one that we have upscaled four times, it's a 63%. I think with regards to the image here on the left side, this is the one that we did not upscale. Um, it is now becoming pixelated and you are not able to see a lot of details anymore whereas here you can see you can still see a lot of details look at the eyes see it's still very clear and this part of the hair as well so you can still see the hairstyle here clearly the colors are great so yeah that's how you're going to do it so that is the purpose why we upscale an image I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Again, this is how to upscale image in stable diffusion by using an ultra sharp extension. Congratulations everyone and I hope you learned in this tutorial. Have a good day.